Welcome to our daily hovers. I'm Economicon, and I thought I'd do a little guide on how to use ash within the mortuary assistant. So, first and foremost, where we find this thing. So the ash, the matches, well, single match, that's all you get, is just here on the side table. That's always there as soon as you walk in. And then what you need to do is you need to go into the back and you can collect some ashes. So you'll have a bag here so you can pick up this. You can only pick up that first one. You can only use ash once every uh, shift. So then just go up to the crematory, or click on the other crematory bag, and we now have our ashes. Okay, so it's not included in the tutorial, but it is highly important. So I've got to the point where I've embalmed this body. I have found enough of my sigils to correctly identify the name. So all you need to do... Hi. Thank you, I was in the middle of something there. All you need to do is come up to the body, and you can place the ashes down, and then you want to set it on fire. Because what the ashes does is it will reveal a house sigil on the body. And so this doesn't clearly, that, that doesn't tell you it is the correct body. All you've got to do then is match the ash shape up with the house you know it is. So I know for a fact I've got house simulation, I've got servos, so I've got these sigils. So the ashes work more as kind of a checkpoint. So as you've got the quick sigil, if you've got the correct name and it matches. And then see, I've been getting injuries appear on the body. He's been moving around and causing spookiness to happen. So it's a pretty clear indication that he should be the correct body. We can just go check this really quick to make sure it's, uh, it's all worked out and I'm not talking nonsense. But all the signs are now indicating that yes, he is the correct body. Are you sure this is the right body? As sure as I can be sure about anything. So probably not, but I'm confident. Because yes, if um, you've ashed a body and it's bringed up a sigil that doesn't match the name you've got, then that's a good indication that, yeah, he, that's not the correct possessed body. So yeah, that's how ash works, how you find it. And then, just burn the body. there we have it we got ending two that so that clearly was the correct body so remember you're trying to identify the correct body look for the injuries movements how many spooky events occurred find the sigils that you can identify the name and then as the last part i use the ash just to make sure the house on the body matches the name's house and there you go you should successfully identify your bodies enjoy <laughs>